This is the 2011 Buick Regal CXL Turbo, which features a two liter four cylinder motor that is turbocharged, putting out 220 horsepower and about 258 pound feet of torque. Uh, it is a smaller displacement than the normal CXL four cylinder. Uh, however, it does have a significant uh, power boost, which is really what this car uh, needed, in my opinion. I did drive the original CXL back in November, and uh, one of my only complaints about that car, well, my chief complaint rather, was the uh, how it felt so underpowered. So this turbo uh, edition is definitely a welcomed boost to the overall performance and enjoyment of this car. Um, it does have the same basic features as the CXL uh, in terms of like the climate, dual climate control, uh, same information screen that uh, does not have a GPS. You can use OnStar to do turn by turn directions, but it does not have onboard GPS. Uh, having said that, it does support uh, CDs with MP MP3 playback. It has a USB port in the middle console down here, in, in here, so you can uh, fire up your USB powered device in there and play music off of that. Uh, same instrumentation as we saw in the uh, other Regals, analog, the round analog gauges uh, with the um, digital augmentation there. Uh, uh, you know, various bits of information. You can use the button over here to select through all kinds of different uh, things that you want to, might want to get about your car. There's the tire pressure, for example, um, trip fuel information, and that kind of stuff. So. Uh, very very fun car to drive for the most part um, it's not still not quite as gutsy as other cars that are in its price bracket uh, in terms of overall performance and that would be like the Kia Optima SX for example which is near the same price barrier and uh, well frankly uh, has a lot more get up and go that said I do like the way this car handles however uh, it does definitely has that more of that German pedigree to the steering wheel uh, as you may know this is essentially the Opel Insignia built in Germany and uh, batched Buick for the American and Chinese markets so it does have a really nice uh, tight steering to it good overall balance and feel of the car um, even I even like the I mean I just really like the overall suspension it, uh, it it doesn't throw you at all like when you go over bumps it's just it's it's adequately smooth it's uh, really nice because it doesn't have that big bowie feel like the Cadillacs and the older Buicks of yesteryear kind of had I mean so in that regard, it is a lot of fun This car to drive. does have a six-speed transmission. Uh, as you can see right now, I got it into the normal drive mode. You can go over here and go into the manual mode and just you know simply shift it up, up and down to uh, go into your different gears that way. So if you like a little bit more control, you can do that. Uh, additionally, you can also go over here and disengage traction control in case you want to have a little bit more uh, control over that feature as well. Um, it does have integrated Bluetooth for your cell phone. And unlike some other cars that I've tested in this price bracket, the Bluetooth feature does work very well. Excellent sound quality, good syncability, uh, no no sync issues at all that I've been able to um, ascertain from the car so far. So I'm very pleased in that regard. So if you are in the price category for a sedan of around 30 to 32 ish, I would highly recommend giving this one a test drive. Uh, it's kind of a fun little car. There's the sunroof right there. We do actually have a little bit of blue sky here in Seattle. There's controls for the sunroof and back here. You can see that it does have some decent leg room. Not a tremendous amount, but not bad for, I guess, uh, medium-sized adults or teenagers. Uh, very well-appointed interior. I do like the uh, wraparound dash kind of look. And, uh, of course, like the, uh, the, uh, the black finish there, the black shiny finish there. It looks kind of cool. Seats are okay. They they hold you pretty adequately. They uh, the driver's seat does feature some good lumbar support and different adjustments that kind of stuff. And uh, overall, it is a very comfortable touring sedan. So once again, if you're looking for a sedan in that twenty-eight to thirty-two thousand dollar price bracket, I'd definitely recommend uh, checking your local Buick dealer and giving the uh, the Regal. A